Hey what's up everybody, it's Styles with Gadget Hacks, and today I'm going to show you how to make your Android device play music every time you're on your home screen. Now to get this one going you'll need to have Tasker installed, which means you'll need to either purchase it on the Play Store for $2.99 or grab the free version, 7 day trial, from the link I have at the full tutorial on Gadget Hacks. And then once you have Tasker installed, you'll also need to enable its accessibility plugin, which can be done in settings under the accessibility menu. Just enable Tasker and you'll be all set. But to get started, you'll have to create a new profile. So go ahead and tap this plus button at the bottom of the screen. Then select the application context. From here, just scroll through the list and then select your launcher when you find it. But I should note that for some folks, if you're using the launcher that came pre-installed on your device, you might have to actually tick this all box down here at the bottom right corner. Regardless of that though, when you've selected your launcher, just press your device's back button once. From here, Tasker will prompt you to add a new task or associate a new task with this profile. So go ahead and tap the new task button. At this point, you can either name your profile or you can leave the field blank. But either way you go, make sure to hit this check mark when you're done. Now this is asking you to add an action to your task. So go ahead and hit the plus button down here at the bottom of the screen. From here use the filter field to type in music and then select the music play option that pops up. On this screen make sure that the loop option right here is ticked and then hit this search button at the top right corner. Basically from here what you want to do is just browse and select any music file that you have on your phone. I'd recommend a nice ambient or soft song to play in the background which I've downloaded from YouTube's music library, by the way. So I'll select mine here. And then from here, just press the device's back button twice to head out to Tasker's main menu. From here, you'll need to add an exit task to make the music stop playing when you leave your launcher. So long press the existing task and choose Add Exit Task. From here, tap New Task, and then again, just hit the check mark or name it or whatever you want to do. Now for this task, again, go ahead and hit the plus button. Then use the filter field at the bottom of the screen to search music. But this time you want to choose music stop. From here just leave everything alone just as it is and then hit your device's back button twice. Now at this point you've got a profile that will become active when you're on your home screen at which point it will play that music file on an indefinite loop. When you're off of your home screen it'll run the exit task and stop the playback. But there's a little problem in that if you were on your home screen and then turned your screen off your profile's conditions would still be active, so the music playback would continue. To take care of that, we'll have to add a second condition to the profile. So long press the launcher portion of your profile, then select Add, and this time go with State. From here, choose Display, and then Display State. Next, just set this one to On, and hit your device's back button once. Now, reviewing your work, your profile will become active when you're on your home screen, and the display is on. If that's the case, your music will play on an infinite loop. When that stops being the case, your exit task will run and the music will stop. So let's see it in action, right? Now that I'm on my home screen, you can hear that the music started playing back softly in the background. It's going to continue to do that, continue to play indefinitely on a loop until I exit my home screen by, say, opening an app. And then the music will stop and allow me to focus on what I'm doing. But again, back to the home screen and the music starts playing again. For the full breakdown though, be sure to check out my article over on GadgetHacks.com. And as always, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time folks, but until then, happy gadget hacking.